Hey guys, welcome back. Today's project is going to be this cool little ornament for your Christmas tree. I'm going to show you how to do this one. It is a two layer file, so we're going to be cutting out two separate circles, gluing them on top. Obviously this one has been painted and stained. All the settings you're going to find in this file are for my longer 10 watt Ray 5 laser, so you'll have to adjust the settings for your own laser. And I'm also going to show you a really cool trick to align it perfectly every time. Get the absolute most out of your little 4x4 squares, if that's what you're using. I'll put a link to those below, but we're going to be uh, fitting that right on there. As always, the file is going to be in the description of the video, totally free. All I ask is that you subscribe to the channel to help me out. Uh, if you are a beginner and you've never used Lightburn before, I highly recommend you download it and take advantage of the 30-day free trial. It's a great software and it's what I use for every video. So go ahead and get that set up and we'll get started. All right, guys, so this is the file in Lightburn. We have a choice of three different ornaments today. We have the wolf, the moose, and the deer. But before we pick one, I'm going to show you this neat little trick to get the most bang for your buck out of every piece of wood. So I'm just going to draw a simple little square and I'm going to make it layer one so it's blue. We're also going to go up to the top here and just change the dimensions to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Now that is the exact size of those little four inch by four inch uh, wooden blanks that I use from Amazon. We're going to turn this thing on an angle and set it right about there. So I think we'll use the reindeer for this one. So I'm just going to come over here and copy this ornament. And we will paste it in the blue square. As you can see, it fits perfectly, but if I had the square horizontal, it would not fit. The top of the ornament would be outside of the piece of wood. I want to make this ornament as big as I possibly can on a 4 inch by 4 inch square. So that's why I have it turned diagonally. As you can see, we're going to be taking advantage of every last millimeter of this piece of wood so there's very little waste and uh, that's what I like to do with these little 4x4s just get every little uh, square inch of wood that I can so um, basically we need to now take this blue line and highlight it and we can go to our cuts and layers we're going to be using uh, the speeds here that's going to be our cut and the blue one is going to be the line we're going to draw on just a scrap sheet of wood so we know exactly where to set this ornament I'm actually going to change the cut speed here a little bit that should be good. And if we come over here, select our blue line, and then just go to preview, you can see we're only going to be engraving that line. So we can go ahead and hit start on the laser. So you can see we have our square and our blanks fit perfectly on that square so we know exactly where that ornament is going to print you can see i've used this method a few times before just to line myself up and get every last millimeter of that piece of wood okay so now that we've got our line burned on our scrap piece of wood we can come back in here select the ornament we want to engrave and cut and just hit start All right guys, well there you have it. The cut turned out good and we used absolutely every bit of this piece of wood that we could. Really nothing went to waste. So if you're a beginner and you struggle to line up your laser, you're not really sure where it's going to cut. This is a good little trick. You can see we can reload another uh, four by four square in there and just hit start on the laser once again. So if you're making a bunch of these like I did, I made a whole stack for friends and family. It's a pretty quick trick to uh, just keep pumping them out without wasting too much wood. So I hope you liked the video. I got a couple more projects coming for you. So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.